The aorta is the main blood vessel that comes off the heart. And the very first part that comes off the heart above the aortic valve is aortic root, followed by the ascending aorta. And so that area of the aorta right next to the heart uh, is obviously high-risk high territory. An aneurysm uh, simply means that the aorta is larger than normal. And we know from uh, studies and real life experience that larger blood vessels are more prone to both rupture or tearing, and tearing medically we call a dissection. We frequently will do surveillance on aneurysms uh, for several years and try to look at the rate of growth that the aneurysm um, displays on CT scans, or we also may instead look at the absolute size criteria of the aorta. And that gives us a good guide as to when to replace the aorta. And we try not to replace it any sooner than we have to, balancing the risk of doing a surgery against the risk of the aneurysm rupturing. If untreated, an aneurysm can sometimes to enlarge to the point where it is likely to rupture or tear. And in either of those scenarios, it could be life-threatening if one of them were to happen before we had a chance to replace the aorta. Ascending aortic repair is probably one of the largest procedures a patient could have, and it can be very complex depending on the extent of the aneurysm. Over the years, we've made a number of advances in how we both protect the heart and the brain during these surgeries, and UVA is really at the forefront in leading the advances of both cardiac protection and cerebral perfusion. Ascending aortic repair can take anywhere from four to five hours. Uh, patients frequently go to an intensive care unit for the first night or two after their operation where they're closely monitored, and then they can recover for about another three days on a regular ward bed. Overall, recovery can take anywhere at home from uh, four to six weeks, and usually we try to start at cardiac rehab at the six-week mark to get patients back on their feet and going again. Given both the risk of stroke and the risk of uh, cardiac damage during these procedures, UVA is ideally suited to providing both surgeries, be it open surgery or interventions uh, that are more minimally invasive that we can do. And we have a fair amount of expertise collected over over the past 20 to 30 years that have allowed us to do this in a much safer fashion than these surgeries used to be done.